Right, it's going to be the weather with Dan now. Hello there, yeah. Well, tomorrow is the first day of August, of course, so the weather not really playing ball with summer. Still that mixture of uh, sunshine and showers, as was replicated with this scene from the Essex-Cambridgeshire border today. But many parts of the region seeing similar skies, blue sky, fluffy cloud. One or two showers this evening, but not as many as we saw yesterday. This was a radar picture yesterday. You see this line of showers from Cornwall and Devon running all the way up into parts of East Anglia. Now, skip forward 24 hours. And that same line is still there, running its way up from the southwest up towards our part of the world, albeit not many showers today, but not as many as yesterday. Now move forward to tomorrow. Now this is a forecast, of course, but again, that same line of showers running up from the southwest up towards East Anglia. So why have we got the same setup every day for at least three days? Well, it's to do with the geography of the southwest, the peninsula of Devon and Cornwall. It's very long and thin. Winds coming in from both coasts tend to meet inland in what we call peninsular convergence. And when they come together, they form a line of showers. So the coasts stay dry, but inland we get this intense line of showers that then runs its way northeastwards with that southwesterly wind. And eventually during the late afternoon and into the evenings, uh, it reaches our part of the world as well. We've seen that today, not that many heavy showers showers, but still one or two out west this evening. They'll linger until about nine o'clock. And then after that, things quietening down, the skies clearing, the winds easing down a touch as well. And by the morning, temperatures could be as low as 10 or 11 degrees in the countryside, 12, 13 degrees uh, in the major urban areas. So it is a bright start to August, a lot of sunshine first thing Tuesday morning. But like today, as those temperatures climb, we'll get the cloud bubbling up. And by the afternoon, a few showers coming in, particularly along that convergence line. In the north and south of that, many places could stay dry. So you're not guaranteed to get a shower tomorrow, but there will be some around and the risk is higher tomorrow compared with today. If you do get one, it could be heavy, could have some hail and thunder, but equally, as you can see, some sunshine in between. Highs getting up to about 22 or 23 degrees, 73 in Fahrenheit. So not feeling too bad, fairly pleasant in the sunshine. Showers continue tomorrow evening. We get a brief ridge building in overnight, though, so settling things down early on Wednesday. But look out west, big low coming in, uh, and these weather fronts eventually going to bring us some rain. But for the start of Wednesday, it should be dry, some good spells of hazy sunshine. The breeze will pick up again. We'll see more cloud coming in from the west, and during the afternoon, a little bit of light and patchy rain just working its way from west to east could turn a bit heavier in the south of the region as we head towards Wednesday evening. So some rain across eastern parts of the region through the course of Wednesday night. That pulls away, and really, this pressure chart looks very similar from Thursday onwards. Low pressure to the north, that's where the shower risk is greatest, and higher pressure down towards the south, so the risk of showers reducing as you come further south across the UK. Quite a blustery day on Thursday, a mixture of sunny spells, and again, a few scattered showers, but some places avoiding them entirely, 21. 22 degrees, pretty much average for the time of the year. By Friday, the winds ease down, so perhaps not feeling too bad in the sunshine. Again, temperatures in the low 20s, and again, there could just be one or two isolated showers, but many places avoiding them and staying dry. As we head into the weekend, well, the story is still the same. It's that classic mixture of sunny spells, a few showers, temperatures near average in the low 20s. Very small risk of a bit of rain coming up from France on Saturday, but we'll keep you posted on that one over the next few days. Back to you. Thank you very much, Dan. You know, I think if he'd been teaching me about the weather, I'd have been much better at it than I was. <laughs> He's very, very good. good. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Good night.